What's up guys, it's Alex. Uh, today we got a gameplay of Kill Confirmed on Underground using the AK-47. So I just want to start the video off by saying thank you so much to everybody who watched my first video. Uh, I think it did pretty well for itself. It got almost 70 views in two days and I think it got six likes. And I mean, that's pretty good. That's more than I could have asked for. <laughs> and the comment section was also filled with positive feedback. I actually got a couple of personal messages with some positive feedback, you know, telling me keep it up and doing good. So, you know, that's what I intend to do. I'm really excited about this. Um, so I just want to talk a little bit about my channel. So since the first video went up, I, I made it a little bit better, you know. I got my avatar picture done, I got my background, and I got the first video featured right now on my channel page. Uh, I might switch it to this one after this one uploads and I also set up a Twitter page and a Facebook page so if you want to follow me on Twitter or like the Facebook page uh, the links will be in the description and in case you missed the first video and this is the first one you've seen from me I will put the link to the first video in the description also so I want to do a commentary today on how I got into gaming so I remember uh, me and my brother had a Nintendo 64 when I was probably five or six and we were addicted to that thing. We played that thing day in and day out and we really liked Super Smash Brothers. That game is freaking awesome. I use Link, like die hard Link fan, you know, and my brother I think used Kirby most of the time which I thought was pretty lame. Um, another game we liked which actually ties into me using Link was The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. That game is, in my opinion, one of the greatest games of all time. Uh, it was re actually released uh, the same year I was born, so that's kind of cool. And I, I have that game, the 3D version on my 3DS, and I play it. I still play that game today. I mean, that game is just phenomenal. That's seriously is one of the greatest games ever made. So then after that we ended up getting a PlayStation like the original PlayStation, the PS1 the slim version for Christmas and I honestly other than Twisted Metal 3 and Tekken 3 I don't remember what other games we had. I know we had a lot but I don't remember any of the other ones. Those are the two that made the most lasting impressions on me I guess. Uh, it might be because they are the two I wanted the most. Uh, they were rated T, and my mom wouldn't let us get them because I was only nine, and my brother was only seven. But we talked her out of that pretty quickly, and and ended up getting them, like probably two months later. And we played those a ton. Uh, I remember my favorite character in uh, Twisted Metal was Calypso. That was my favorite car. Um, and I, I obviously also like Sweet Tooth. Who doesn't? And my, I remember my favorite uh, map was, I don't actually know what it was called. I know it was like an old carnival with, uh, there was like a roller coaster you could go up onto and drive on the track. And I thought that was awesome. And there was also another one with like a Hot Wheels track in someone, in some like little kid's room, which was a pretty cool map. And after that, we got a PS2 and we played so much Champions of Norath, Baldur's Gate, and, and then the sequel to Champions of Norath. Champions Return to Arms, and uh, for those of you who don't know what those are, they're kind of like a, a over, like the over-the-top camera view dungeon crawler, and they're freaking, they're great. We spent so much time playing those games. Uh, my favorite out of the three uh, was probably Champions of Norath. I'd probably give that game a good nine out of ten. I mean, it was just one of the funnest games I've ever played in my life. Uh, then just the sequel probably gets an 8 out of 10 pretty easily and then Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance also probably gets around to 8 they're all really solid games um, I, I remember me you could you could do up to four players on one screen if you had the little PlayStation 2 multi-tap that you could plug four controllers into and I remember me and my brother and my cousin played the hell out of those games I remember once we were beating uh, the Champions Return to Arms, the sequel, on the hardest difficulty, Legendary difficulty, 
and we hadn't saved since like the half point of the game. We were just on a marathon, and we were on the final boss, and we killed him, and the game froze up, and we had to start back over about halfway through the game, and we just ended up quitting. We didn't play that game for such a long time. I think it was probably over a year before we went back and finally finished it. So, uh, Call of Duty, the, how I got into Call of Duty was, originally I bought World at War just for zombies. I had played at my friend's house and thought it was really fun and wanted to be able to like play online full screen. So I ended up buying that, and then I bought Modern Warfare 2 a little while after its release just for the campaign, because I'd heard it was really great, and I completely agree. I think it has one of the best campaigns of any game. It's definitely the best Call of Duty campaign, but I think arguably has one of the best campaigns in any game ever and uh, it's it's the only first person shooter uh, story that actually got me like caring about the characters and actually like involved in the story which was pretty cool I've not played Modern Warfare 3's campaign yet so I don't know how that is uh, Black Ops campaign was decent I guess but the first Call of Duty that I really got into multiplayer was actually Black Ops uh, that's my favorite Call of Duty so far. I think, I mean, I might be biased just because it was my first one. That's what I got used to. But I love the map design in Black Ops. You know, the like Nuketown, Fire Range, Summit, and uh, Stadium are probably my favorite four maps. Uh, they're they're awesome. I love those maps. Um, and then I like the how the I like how the guns don't kill quite as fast. You know, you have an opportunity to kind of escape a gunfight that's going wrong if, if you like if you feel like you're gonna lose a gunfight you can most of the time like run behind cover and you won't die as opposed to Modern Warfare 3 where I mean, you just insta die if you get shot at pretty much whoever pulls the trigger first and is on target uh, wins unless there's ballistic oh, I hate ballistic vests unless there's ballistic vests in play but anyway so I I got this game on release date uh, I played it a little bit. I was not a fan. I did not like this game at all. I didn't like any of the maps. I hated the map design. Um, so I, I ended up getting to around probably level 30 and then just going back to Black Ops. And then a couple of my friends got it, got Modern Warfare 3, and I liked to play with my friends, so they weren't playing Black Ops anymore. So I started playing Modern Warfare 3, and you know I got used to it, and I like some of the maps now. You know, I don't hate all of them. I hate interchange and downturn, uh, and liberation. I hate liberation, but I really like mission. Has always been like my favorite map. I like dome. I like piazza, uh, and then I like pretty much all the ones from the latest content drop. The fourth one, I believe, it has decommission, parish, uh, boardwalk, offshore, and gulch. I love all those maps. And gulch is actually based in Utah, which is pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, so I didn't really like Modern Warfare 3 at first. Now I want to talk a little bit about Black Ops 2. I'm really excited for Black Ops 2. Um, I hope I hope I'm not gonna hype it up too much and then ended up being disappointed. But from what I've heard, you know, it seems like it's gonna be a really good game. Uh, the Pick 10 Creative Class system is awesome in my opinion. I think that's great. Uh, so yeah, I'm really excited for Black Ops 2. Zombies are coming back. I love zombies. Uh, me and my girlfriend actually enjoy playing zombies together. That's something I didn't think I mentioned in the first one. So we're running out of time on the video. Uh, thank you all for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed it, you know, leave a like. And any feedback you have for me, any suggestions, uh, will be greatly appreciated. Just leave them in the comment section below. So until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye.